Let's take a look at the process of using the vCenter server appliance to actually back up our vCenter server content. Now, this is something that's only available with the vSphere appliance, not the standard vCenter server. But with the appliance management website, remember located at port 5480 of your vCenter server appliance, we can log in as root, not using our single sign on account, but using the root account. And we have the ability right here at the very beginning to perform a backup. So if I click backup, it needs to know what is an available backup locale. And you'll see we have several different protocols that are available to me. So I can back up to an enabled HTTP or HTTPS server, I can back up over SCP, FTPS, or FTP. A lot of options here. So I'm going to go ahead and point it to protocols up there. So dc0.earthfarm.com slash backup is the directory name I'm working with. And we're actually going to access that over HTTP. It's insecure, but it's in a private VLAN, so I'm okay with that. And then we'll need an account that we can log on with into that environment and a password. We can choose to encrypt the backup data if we would like, which means it will require a password to restore it. That is a very safe option and recommended. You will have to enter in the same password twice, however. There we go. Let's go ahead and click Next. Now that it's uh, verified that that is an available connection path, it asks what I would like to back up. You can choose to back up the common data and or the stats, events, alarms, and tasks so that we can restore it back to a point of consistency. And you can see that it gives me the estimated size. Remember that that size will vary depending on the size of things like, for example, the content you have in Update Manager and the patches and images that you might have stored there. So be aware that uh, this is something, of course, you have to manage and, and monitor in order to know what you're going to be doing. So this is going to be the uh, test April backup of the CSA 6.5. All right, we'll click Next and Finish. And so now it is actually starting the backup process. Now, while that's backing up, let me just jump over here to uh, another pane of our uh, vCenter server appliance. You may notice that it has a backup tool, but no restore tool located here. And you might be wondering, where's my restore tool? Well, let me remind you that your restore tool is found by accessing your vCSA media just like you did to install it. So here's our original vCSA installer. Going to go to the UI installer, Windows 32, installer.exe. And here it is, the tool to restore from a previous backup. And we can simply click Next, agree to the license agreement, click Next. And we essentially have the inverse operation, identifying the protocol and location where the backup is stored, the port, uh, and then the username and password and the optional encryption password if you secured your backup that way. And then from there, it's simply a matter of pointing it as to where it should restore it once you validate it and ensuring that that is the, the correct location for it. So gang, those are the core components of backup and restore for the vCSA. Uh, very cool that that is now built in to back up all of our server configuration and update manager configuration as well.